call this meeting to order of the uh, Thursday, October 1st. Goodness gracious. Um, code enforcement. We'll please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there anyone here that's going to speak? No, it needs to be sworn in. Oh, there you are. Hi, my Tom. I didn't see you. For the testimony you were about to give, so Teresa will help you before that. I do. Thank you. We'd like to introduce um, our new alternate board members, which is Sherry <coughs> McCullers. Welcome, Sherry. And. Um, we also have Rebecca. She wasn't here last at the last meeting, okay. so she's also new. Rebecca, she's welcome. Thank you. Um, agenda items: approval of the minutes from August sixth. <coughs> I make a motion that we accept the minutes. Have a motion. Do you have a second? Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Um, Mr. Trask, turn it over to you for. Hi everybody. So we got just uh, two quick items on the calendar today. The first is an affidavit of non-compliance. This is on one of the cases that was heard in August. Uh, the first case, 20, um, and then two, and then a bunch of zeros and a one. This is City of Oldsmore versus uh, Sailfish Real Estate. You remember that um, this is failure to obtain a building permit, um, come into compliance by September the 6th or suffer a $100 a day fine property owner has failed to come into compliance and therefore we have an affidavit of non-compliance for the board's consideration and approval so i would submit that into evidence is there anyone here for selfish real estate i'm seeing no one i'd submit it into evidence accepted into evidence a motion to accept i'll make a motion to accept Case number 2020000001 and find that selfish real estate is in non compliance. I have a motion to have a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. So that's the affidavits of non compliance. Then the next on the agenda is the uh, affidavit of compliance in the case 20. Uh, two, a bunch of zeros, and then number two. Um, City of Oldsmore versus Hess Real uh, Retail Stores LLC. This again was failure to obtain a building permit. It was the same compliance date. Um, they did come into compliance. Um, there was an inspection done by our code enforcement officer um, and found the property in compliance. There is um, zero fines due, but there is a $35 administrative fine. So we would uh, ask that you accept the affidavit of compliance in this case. You accept it in compliance and evidence, sorry. Have a motion. I move that we can cons uh, consider the affidavit of compliance for case 2020000002 uh, with no fines and a $35 administrative fee. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And that's all we have. Motion to adjourn. Da -da. Motion there to adjourn. Go. Second. Second. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Here we go. Thank yeah. you very much. Quickest one in history. That was quick and painless. Yeah, that was really